Hi everyone, welcome back to Ama Pilates and Yoga. My name is Marisol and today we're gonna to be doing our first, I guess, official yoga class or yoga sequence. Uh, today's class is gonna be about 15-ish minutes long. I really want it to be something that you can do in the morning, maybe before work or uh, during your lunch time, maybe after work, but pretty much it's going to be a lot of really restorative uh, poses, but also uh, little sun salutations in there and things that'll get your body feeling really good, get you feeling really stretched out, but also get your body super warm. That way we do the class, we're ready for the rest of our day and we're good to go. So with that being said, I do want to remind you guys that I have a Patreon account where I post 50, or 40 <laughs> to 50 minute classes and I'll do Pilates classes, I'll do yoga classes, a fusion of them. There's a lot of variety on Patreon. I do have a little bit more freedom when it comes to making classes. So go ahead and check that out. I highly encourage it. I think you guys will like it. Um, but for today's class, let's start on the floor, on our mat, hands and knees. Okay, so we're gonna place the hands under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and we're just gonna exhale, do a little cat cow. So when you're ready, we're gonna exhale around the spine. Look at our knees. Inhale. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna take a big inhale. Exhale around the spine. Look at your knees, look at your belly button. And then inhale, stretch up the spine. You might look forward. Exhale, around the spine. So continue to do this, and I don't know about you, but I always, whenever I start to move, I always start really, really fast. And then as time goes by, I kind of slow things down a little bit just to see what feels really good for my body. And maybe if there's any adjustments that I need to be making, but just go ahead and flow through this cat-cow exercise, cat-cow movement. Taking deep breaths, going as slow or as quick as you need to. And as we're doing this, I always think of pressing equally into both of my hands, pressing equally into both of my knees and shins, finding a sense of balance. Let's go for three. Two. And last one. and stretch out the spine so that your back is flat. From here, we're gonna press the knees, or sorry, press the hips back. Knees will come under the chest, and then shift your weight forward. And press the knees back, or press the hips back. <laughs> Good, so as you're doing this, you're gonna feel some pressure on your wrists, and then you're gonna take the pressure off. So it's not so that we feel pressure necessarily, that's not, really what we're trying to find, but we're trying to just see if we can warm up the muscles and the tendons and the hands and the forearms and the wrists. And then from here, you can go from side to side. This is also a really good uh, way to wake up the joints and the hips too, by moving the thigh bone from side to side in the hips. And then if you want to, you can also kind of draw circles with the trunk of your body. Try to keep your back flat, but if there's a little bit of arching or rounding, again, it's not the end of the world. If you're doing the circles, make sure that you're doing them in the other direction as well. So over to the right, back, left, and center. Right, back, left, and center. One more time. Good, and then hold it here. Now, I like to go on to, up onto my fist for plank position. You could do this on your forearms. You can do this modified, however you need to. But you're gonna find your plank position. Hold it there. And as you're holding, think about really opening up the throat when you exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Hold it here for five. Four, waking up the body. Three, two, one. And rest your left knee down, your left hand on the floor, your right arm up, and your right leg stretched out. So from here, we're gonna reach the top arm up and over, find a little stretch, and I'm pushing my waistline away from the floor. 
and inhale, come back to somewhat of a side plank position and then try that again. So you're just coming in and out of that stretch. Go at the pace that you need to. I know sometimes if this is your first time stretching, the body can just feel really tight depending on you know what's going on, your stress levels, what you did the day before, that type of thing. So if you're feeling like you need to hold the stretch or come out of it, go for it, all right? Now, we're gonna hold this position. I'm gonna go on my hands a little bit, adjust my hands. The bottom leg will stretch out in front of you and then maybe we'll pull the back leg back. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. And rest the knee down, both hands on the mat, turn to face the floor, and then you're gonna turn to face the other direction. So, cross or left, sorry, right knee on the floor. Reach the top arm up to the ceiling, and then inhale, reach up and over. Ugh, my words today just are trying to work their way through my brain. <laughs> It's always funny when you have days like that. The best you can, thing you can do is just laugh, breathe. Finding your stretch. You can close your eyes. You can deepen your breath if you want to here. You can hold or come out of the stretch. From here your right hand is down you're gonna take your right foot place it forward in front of you reach the top up top arm up and over if you can hold for five four three two one and rest the knees down turn to face the floor and actually you know what let's turn to face sit on our hips face the opposite direction because we're gonna lay down and face up to the ceiling so hands down by your sides, palms facing down, your knees bent, feet on the floor, right in front of the hips. And when you're ready, exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips up, hold it up at the top. Now in this position, I want you to interlace the fingers, straighten the arms, tuck the shoulders underneath the chest a little bit, opening up the chest some more, hold it here. So if you cannot interlace the fingers here, do not worry, you're just gonna place your hands by your side. You're gonna hold it up at the top. Really feeling the hips open, feeling the back of the legs, the back side of the body engaged, trying to find your range of motion. And then separate the hands, slowly lower the spine back down and relax the hips. Whew. You can move the legs from right to left if you're feeling like your low back was a little tight on that one. That's not super uncommon, especially early in the morning. So when you're ready, let's try that again. We're gonna lift the hips, interlace the fingers, tuck the shoulders under the chest and press up. Now try not to widen your knees super wide apart, just try to press the hips up and hold it there. Taking deep breaths, holding this position. Finding how strong yet vulnerable this position is for us. You know, you've got all the important parts kind of exposed up to the open air, and but you have a really strong support behind you, you know? And when you're ready, separate the hands, slowly lower the spine back down. Ooh, feels good. Now from here, open the arms out wide, cross the right knee over the left, reach the legs to the left, giving your right glute, right low back a little stretch. Now, if you don't feel a stretch here, or you wanna do something different, that's totally fine. Uh, normally, people tend to be, or generally, people tend to be a little tight in their glutes, and I'm definitely one of them. My glutes are always tight. So stretches like these always affect me a lot. Go ahead and lean the legs to the right. But it's so nice that we get to do that. Let me know in the comment section if you're doing this class before work or during lunch or when you're doing this class. And exhale, come back to center. Good, and now stretch the legs out long. Reach the arms up and overhead in opposite direction. 
And when you're ready, uh, press the arms down, lift the chest, slowly roll on up. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to come up to standing. We're going to start uh, a few sun salutations. So today we're going to try three, see where we're at, and then see where we can go from there. Although, all right. All right. <laughs> oh my God, my words. Uh, all right. Feet parallel hip width distance apart, hands down. You're going to take a huge inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling, interlace the fingers or press the hands together, bend the elbows, bring the hands in front of the chest, press the hips back fold forward down to the floor as close as you can hands on the shins stretch the spine forward you can look forward if you want to or look to the floor and then fold again bend your knees place your hands on the floor and come out into a plank position good from here lower the knees down bend the elbows lower the chest inhale lift the chest and then tuck the toes, press the hips up and back. Downward dog. You can do a child's pose here instead, depending on what you feel like. Hold it here for a moment. And then when you're ready, walk your feet closer to your hands. We're gonna bend the knees, stretch the arms out, come all the way up, reach the arms up to the ceiling, hands together. Press the hands or bring the hands down in front of the chest. All right, let's try that. Two more sequences. Hands down by your sides. Inhale, arms out. Hands together. Exhale, press the hips back. Reach the hands on the floor. Forward fold. Hands on the shins. Lengthen the back. Look to the floor look, or look forward. Bend the knees. Hands on the floor. Walk or step or jump your feet back, bend the knees, bend the elbows, lower the chest down, modified chaturanga, inhale, lift the chest, and tuck the toes, press the hips up and back, hold it here, and then walk your feet closer to your hands, Good. From here, bend the knees, reach the arms out, take a huge inhale. Hands together. Exhale. Hands in front of the chest. Now let's do one more. The last part when we walk the feet to the hands, we come up to standing and go back into the standing mountain pose. I want you to think about something that you're really grateful for today. All right? So maybe take the entire sequence to kind of ruminate and pick one thing. Right? Although there's many blessings, I'm sure. Hands down when you're ready. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hands in front of the heart. Press the hips back. Continue your exhale, hands on the floor. And hands onto the shins. Stretch your spine forward, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Hands on the floor. Walk your feet back. Lower the knees down. Bend the elbows, lower the chest down. Inhale, lift. Tuck the toes. Exhale, press the hips up and back. Hold it here. Steady your mind, steady your thoughts. Get rid of any thoughts that don't feel good, that don't make our day that much better. At least for right now, at least for downward dog, while you're holding such a difficult pose for most people. And then when you're ready, walk the feet forward. Mm -hmm. And bend the knees, slowly roll on up. Hands together, bring the hands down. Take a moment to close your eyes, your hands in front of your heart, your elbows out to the side, you're standing up really tall. I want you to think about one thing that you're really grateful for. Now we're not done yet, but we're just taking a moment in our practice to pause, whether it's family, friends, job, projects, passion projects. Um, if I could be vulnerable with you guys, my grateful thing for today is that I have my family that nears, lives nearby and I'm really grateful for that. Okay. From here, let's bring the hips back, reach the arms down. Good. 
And now we're gonna take the right leg, reach it back behind us kind of like a forward lunge. I like to rest my back knee down, interlace the fingers, except for the thumb and the pointer finger, and push yourself up and back. Take a few deep breaths. Thinking about your intention for the day. So for me, it's you know being productive, but allowing myself a little forgiveness if my body just isn't feeling ready to take on all the physical things it needs to take on today. Good, and then put your hands down. Straighten both legs. Triangle pose, hold it here. And then bring your feet together. Step the left foot back. Little lunge position. When you're ready, lower the knee down. Interlace the fingers, point the fingers up. deep breaths. And then hands down on the floor. Straighten both legs. Finding a stretch, back of the front leg, and then feet together. Bend the knees, reach the arms out to the side, reach up to the ceiling, hands together, bend the elbows, lower the hands in front of the chest. Whew. And you guys are all set. Thank you everyone for joining me today. That was your quick morning sequence, morning yoga sequence. Please let me know if you like things like this. I don't mind uh, doing a morning one, a nighttime one, a lunchtime one. <laughs> and let me know if you like shorter sequences or longer sequences. But for longer ones, I will say, um, if it's over like 20 minutes, I would just go to my Patreon account. I've got a yoga class on there. I believe it should be on there right now by the time you're watching this. Um, but I also have a Pilates class. I have a fusion of the two. So uh, definitely check those out. And I can't wait to see you guys and hear from you guys and see what you're grateful for and what your attentions are for the day. So. Anyway, have a really beautiful day and I'll see you in the next class.